Hello everyone, Leglishi or other decoders, Katana decoder also need to apply attention when open the lock. Let's see what happens if there is no tension. Insert the tool. This time, we will not apply tension to right or left, just rotate the knob. Okay, rotate, repeat one more time. There is no resistance. We can't feel any resistance. Take out the tool, check the pins. The pins didn't move. They didn't change anything. In the next, what if we apply tension? This time we apply tension to the right. Rotate, apply tension to left, rotate. Now we can feel the resistance. Very good resistance. Repeat one more time. Okay. Check the pins. They are moved. They're their positions have changed. Okay, let's see what happens inside the lock. This is a HU66 generation two cylinder. HU92, HU100, HU100R. They are similar to it. Now we just use the HU66 Generation 2 for the demonstration. Other models are almost the same. We insert the tool. Turn it. Sorry. I think this is the wrong orientation, so let's change another orientation. Insert the tool. Turn up. Okay. While you rotate the knob, the wafers are moving. You can see that. Without tension, probably like this. Without tension, probably like this. Even though you re rotate the knob and the wafers is moving, but it will bounce back. They have small springs in it, which will push the wafers back. What if we apply tension? Once we apply tension, some uh, wafers will stuck right here. This is the lock shell. Let's 
let's try it so one more way apply tension to the right some wafers get stopped these wafers have different heights um, the, the higher wafers will get stuck if you apply tension to the right or left and uh, when you turn the knob this this stuck wafers will be fully squeezed by the decoder pins and they won't bounce back if you repeat these actions they will completely squeezed by the pins one by one and they will be fixed and remain at its opening position forever now we discuss some uh, optional details Take out the tool, put it here. Okay, insert the tool. When you apply tension, you don't need a lot of strength. You don't need a lot of strength and uh, not too loose like this hold the shear hold the shell press here slightly that will be enough some locks have clutches which are sensitive like this one This is a uh, HO66 generation 2. It's clutchy, it's sensitive. HO66 generation 2 have many of this kind of lock. So for this kind of lock, for this kind of lock. If we apply strong force, it will rotate. So, when we apply tension, let's just stop before the rotating point, okay? Or let's say the apply tension force should less than the rotating force. That's all. After you understand how to apply tension correctly, I believe that you will use Katana decoder more efficiently.